Uh, so as uh, Jin Dong said, we're uh, interconnecting the language applications grid with well, this was working. There we go. With uh, pub annotation, and the idea is to enable people to uh, rapidly develop annotations and have a loop where you can go do machine feed annotations to machine learning, create a model, see how it works, and then you can go back uh, and use pub annotation. Um, very very quick and general overview. <clears throat> Uh, the LAPS grid, we have uh, a whole lot of NLP tools in one platform. We have uh, a lot of public NLP tools. We have some for biomedical analysis and clinical analysis. And we also have uh, give access to a lot of uh, multilingual tools and data through a couple of federations, the most uh, notable of which is with two Claren platforms. Everything is interoperable. You don't have to worry about, you can plug and play any set of, of tools from any source uh, inside the LAPS grid. Uh, we have, a, a, we use Galaxy, which is a, originally developed for genomics researchers to make workflows and so on. Um, and it's a plug and play. And you can run it from the web or on your laptop or on desktop in the cloud or a Docker image, whichever you're interested in. Pub annotation, probably most of you already know, is uh, the repository of text annotations on the literature of the life sciences. And they're all registered uh, in there and aligned to the canonical text so that all of the annotations are um, actually linked to each other. And you can search them and ac access them. And the thing we're particularly interested in is that it uh, includes text AE, which is a very nice uh, annotator for uh, annotation editor. And um, so what we did last year, in fact, as a result of a blah, sort of, um, we decided to collaborate uh, to see if we could integrate the two platforms. So we now have gotten to the point where LAPS users can register and share annotations in the pub annotation registry. You can uh, get any of the publications and pull them into the LAPS grid for whatever you want to do to them. Uh, from PUB annotation, and it's mainly PubMed and PMC. And you can also invoke text AE from within the lab script. Uh, PUB annotation users, on the other hand, can from within the PUB annotation framework access and apply any lab grid tools. Um, and what we did in order to make sure that everything was very interoperable is we have automatic conversion between pub annotations, JSON, and our JSON LD, which LD is linked data format, and uh, so everything is seamless. So this makes it easy for people to automatically annotate and share results. You can um, go through, as I was describing earlier, this, uh, you can apply automatic annotation tools in the labs grid. You can then manually correct them, um, and you can refine them. Uh, you can obviously, the, the big thing is to provide uh, training data for machine learning. Um, so the overall goal of our collaboration is to eventually get to the point where we have a, a, a total ecosystem so that people can uh, use the machine learning in the labs grid and iteratively go through a cycle. And here's an example of, oops. <laughs> The pub annotate, you take a project on pub annotation, um, you uh, choose a machine learning algorithm, and then you take your documents, push them into the LAPS grid, you train the language model, um, you can use the model to annotate additional documents that have not previously been annotated. Um, we have good evaluation tools. Um, and you can evaluate those, and then you can use text AE to manually correct them, retrain the model, and you can do this as long as, as you want uh, in an iterative cycle. And of course, at some point, you may want to take them back into pub annotation and share it. So this is a sort of visual of the relationship between 
the two uh, platforms that we ultimately envision. Um, so you can, you know, go back and forth in terms of, of data between the two platforms. Within uh, labs, you can either use like a named entity recognizer or whatever you want to annotate, um, or you can use machine learning. You can evaluate results if you're using machine learning. You can correct and add annotations use, invoking text AE in the side uh, the lab grid. Or alternatively, you can um, get documents in pub annotation, use labs tools, correct them in, in there, and then you can merge them into others. So the main things that we have to do, um, we have to get some way to get large bodies of text back and forth between the two platforms, which we haven't done quite yet. Oops, and we need to design and implement some sort of user interface so that you can have something that's very nice for the user to use. At Blah 5, we have a few specific goals. We want to make the necessary modifications to pub annotation. Uh, to enable full interoperability, and this is just simply by providing for adding some metadata that the labs, uh, our format, the, the labs interchange format, which is we call LIF, requires. Um, we want to uh, modify pub annotations interface so that it gives uh, users the option of choosing a machine learning algorithm. Uh, and application of automatic annotators. And we want to determine and design any APIs for passing these large data sets, as I mentioned. And so we're basically, this is the design phase, and then we're going to start implementing to the extent that we can while we're here at the hackathon. So that is our plan, and thank you very much.